In this example, what we're going to be looking at is our inquiry commands, which allow us to sort of find out areas and volumes and perimeters of certain objects within a scene. So what we'll start with, first of all, is the measure tool. And if I just click on the measure tool to begin with, I can very easily and very quickly specify two points just by clicking. And there you go, there's my distance, 58. You'll also notice that that value is down here in our command line and I can always if I need to copy and paste that into a table so do bear that in mind that's why we keep the command panel up if I click on measure again normally most people would think that that would just be oh I'm just going to measure a line but what I can do with this is I can right click you notice we have the right click option just here and I can say multiple points so that can be my second point and that could be my third point that could be my fourth point and you can see there that it was giving me the information in distance as I go along and if I press enter you can see there I've got my distance is 167 by the way this is in millimeters so and just in case you were wondering so that's 167 millimeters I can also inquire to the radius of an object so if I select that object there you see we've got radius come up as 17 so if I want to check the angle of something, I've got options here. I can check the angles of, of, of arcs or circles or lines, but really what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this point here and click that second line. And you can see here we've got 131 has come up and that's going to be our second or our, our angle between those two lines. Um, you can also do that as a, where are we, measure angle. You could do that as two lines, say, uh, here and here. Yeah. Or repeat measurement. Oh. Let's just make sure I got angle. Or we could do it as one angle there and another angle there, and that's saying it's 122. So it gives you kind of an idea of, of how things are working. Remember, all angles are measured in um, counterclockwise, so it'll go from this line through to that line. Yeah, don't forget that. I can also measure an area, and that can be done either by saying right clicking and saying object. So if I right click, there you go, there's the area of that rectangle, which is uh, 176 millimeters squared. It's also given me a perimeter there, which is quite useful. But something else I can do with the area tool is I can actually just go around and click. Now if I click every single corner here, what this is going to do is this is going to give me the main mass area. Uh, let's be a little bit careful about this. So there we go, there's the overall area that that object is going to take up. And you can see here it's uh, 27,583, which is again mirrored down here. Yeah, so that's very useful. If you want to sort of start working out what the area is going to be minus these objects here, what we have to start doing uh, is something a little bit more complicated that we'll possibly come on to later on, uh, where you actually have to join everything up uh, and then you have to physically take these objects away. Because at the moment what we've got is just separate lines. So these, these outside ones will need to be joined as polylines. So you have to make it an area and then you have to remove these volumes from that area. So it's a little bit more complicated. Also what we've got here is the volume and that's really for the 3D side of things because with the volume you need a Z height and we are only working in 2D at the moment so really we'll come on and we'll start work, We'll start worrying about that later on. But to be honest with you, really measuring measuring distance, things like that, it really is that that simple. It's just a click of the mouse there and then we start to worry about which points we want to measure just two clicks and there you go, we can get a distance. Very simple and very easy.